Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville featuring the Florida Everblades. I'm Daniel Goodwill, this is Christopher Draves, and this is Matt Weiss. Hey, got it. Alrighty. It's really, it can be talked. It's really a from Florida to Milwaukee one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, Anyways, you it's can It's more visit. like a, a, a from Florida to butt kicking. <laughs> All right. And you can go to our good friends yeah. at Hockey Locker. You could uh, get all your hockey essentials. You can get your skate sharpened. You can get your referee gear for your figure skaters and your speed skaters. You can get your blade sharpened. Roller skaters, you can get those too. You can also Roller get figure gear. skates there. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can also get your uh, hockey jerseys, retro hockey jerseys. You can get them customized. You can get this season's Admiral jersey like the ones we're wearing. You can get them customized as well. You could get this lovely Nashville Predator hat, as well as uh, current NHL jerseys. Uh, yeah, visit them when? Where? Uh, when and where? where? When? Now. Uh -huh. Not now. <laughs> closed, but today. Go. Um, and where is at 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And yes, you could actually visit now and drop your skates off in their little door that they have with some contact info. And they'll start sharpening your skates. Then they'll contact you when you're done. You pick them up, pay for them, and go on your merry way. If you have any Perfect. questions, you can call them at... At 414-800-7585. Or you can just go to HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. But yeah, uh, spend money and tell them that we sent you. If you don't spend money, we don't know you. Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> they like money. Tell them that the from Milwaukee, uh, from Milwaukee National guys sent you. Yeah, yeah. but you got to spend money before yeah. you tell them that. And money to make us look good. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no loitering. No loitering. All right. So the it, Florida Everblades played yeah. the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. We had a nice little return back to uh, the Hertz Arena tonight. We uh, because we had a we had a dual we had a two dual pipeline in the the Nashville development. We had uh, one in the a AHL with the Admirals and one in the ECHL with the Florida Everblades. And uh, let's just say the Florida Everblades delivered tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Um, a man I also want to um, reiterate this to the Greensville Swamp Rabbit, it hurts, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> but they still have a cool logo. Yes, yes, yes. We will give them that, and they are a good hockey team. Just Absolutely. Not against the Everblades, because the Everblades are... Uh... Number two team in the league. Yeah, well, read the, start reading the stats, guys. Yes, let's have that. All right, so shots were 37-28, which is still a... Uh, that's kind of a landslide in a way because nine shots goes a long way towards their scoring. Right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so scoring in the first at equal strength was Adam Smith with an assist from Joe Pendenza yeah. and Patrick McCarron. Joe, Min Joe Pendenza, former Admiral. Adam Smith, been called up a couple times this year by the Admirals. Yep. All right, and then we have uh, a power play goal from them, from Florida, uh, Michael Huntebrinker. Your favorite. Yes, my favorite. Yep. We figured this out at the preseason games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our whole chat section liked him. Um, and was assisted by Zach Magwood and Ben Masala. Magwood, former Admiral. Um, and then, just recently assigned to Florida, Lucas Craigs with the game winner. Way to go, Craig. With an assist from Patrick McCarron. How do you figure it's a game winner? Third goal of the game. We'll get into the rest of so, why it's a game winner. McCarron's <laughs> racking up the assists tonight, I'm seeing. This is really All right, like and then we have a goal from Joe Pendenza with an assist from Michael <laughs> Huntsbrinker and John McCarron. So many McCarrons. <laughs> and then we have a goal from Justin Auger. His, uh, with an assist from Blake Winicki and Ben Masala. So that's Masala's second assist. And we got another uh, Justin Auger. Yeah, we have another Justin Auger goal in the third with an assist from Cam McLeese, former Manitoba Moose. Yeah. Um, and then uh, they got an even strength goal on the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Carl Elmer. Elmer? I I'm just going to go with Elmer. it. It go. Well, me or there you go. Whatever. With an assist from Michael Pluck. Pletch. Um, we'll go with that. Um, and then we have... Uh, another, another Swamp Rabbits goal. Another Swamp Rabbits goal uh, from Jake Horton with an assist from Cameron Nault and Dylan McPherson. Where do I know Dylan McPherson from? 
Grand Rapids. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, just last season, correct? Uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of a float for them. Yeah. Um, and so, both of, both oh, yeah, of a, it was a 6 2 uh, beatdown. Both of the Grand, uh, was it, uh, uh, both of the Swamp Rabbits goals were in the third period, so basically just garbage goals. All right, in that for the um, Everblades was Cam Johnson stopping 26, 26. of 28. <coughs> With a uh, same percentage of ninety two point eight percent. Not bad. Again, we, we say I said that we say this all the time when it comes to the Everblades goaltending. You can put either or in net; they're gonna deliver each time. Yeah. Between him and uh, Ken Appleby, there's, there's yeah, a they real are dominance. solid goaltenders. All right, so starting in the game was Jeremy Halvig. He stopped nineteen. That he was. 19 of 25. Ooh. 19 uh, with a 50% save percentage and five goals against. Ouch. Ow. 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 I wonder if he got pulled. And then we have Jake Thwalt. 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 He finished off the game, didn't he? Yep, with 12 saves and one goal against with a 32 percent same percentage but, yeah, but I mean you came in yeah, and believed yeah. and you can, yeah. gave up one yeah. on twelve shots your same percentage is not gonna be that good. And anyways. what go Everblades though a six two beatdown. And they uh played a Swamp Rabbits on Saturday night. Uh, Saturday at six central? I do Okay and Cody Saul had a fight or oh, a really? major. Uh, because he has five power I guess 6 p.m. Central on Saturday. They play Greenville again. All right, so do they have a highlight package? No. They don't have what? A highlight package. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of looking for where this, the penalties, because that would be helpful. Do we really need to worry about the penalties? I'm worrying about uh, who he, there, they said there was a five-minute major, so, so wrong, just trying to. Yeah. Uh, Penalty. Oh, here. Uh, slashing. Unless the ECHL considers fighting an automatic manager. Because mm. I did see at one point a five for fighting. I wonder if that's that manager they were talking about. Penalty. John McCarron for interference. Minor two minutes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, five minute manager. Cody Saul versus Nathan Perkovic. Oof. Yep. So. Yeah, because the penalties are right here on home. And that happened in the first period. Yeah. I'm um, getting 40 in. So if you want to see our preview for the Greenville Swamp Rabbits, go check out. watch yesterday's video. Our yesterday's video that was the Calgary Flames versus the Nashville Predators. Yeah. Also, go over to YouTube, click uh, subscribe, click the little bell. Watch our videos, please. Tell them <coughs> again. Please, Spread please, the word. We're covering please. the Everblades because I don't think anybody else is. <coughs> also, go, don't forget to go check out our friends at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Spend money. <laughs> they like it. <coughs> Spend money, say hi. Get one of their awesome Hockey Locker uh, jersey shirts. Yep. And we will see you guys tomorrow. What? Yeah.